Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Harmony Nice, if you haven't been here before and if you have then welcome back. Today I will be continuing my Enchanted Endeavours series and I will also be continuing talking about the Wiccan holidays, better known as the Sabbaths. So since in bulk, or some call it Bridges Day or some call it Candle Mass is coming up, I thought it was an extremely appropriate time to discuss when in bulk is, when you celebrate it in the southern and the northern hemisphere, what it is, why us Wiccans celebrate it, how Wiccans can celebrate it and also how I personally celebrate it. Goddesses, symbols, spells, crystals, herbs and also activities relevant to this Sabbath and this time I'm actually recording it before in bulk comes along instead of afterwards like I did with Yule so I'm trying, I promise I'm trying. And also if you guys aren't actually aware of what my Enchanted Endeavours episodes are, they are a series about the Wicca faith, the deities, the things to use in Wicca, basically everything to do with Wicca and in between. My last episode was on rune stones and I did a briefing on what they are and I also did a couple of demonstrations on how I use rune stones and if you wanted to see my previous episode about the Wiccan holidays I did do one on Yule. I've made a playlist and I will pop it in the description down below so you guys can watch all my Enchanted Endeavours episodes there if that was something you'd be interested in. But obviously before every single Wiccan related video I have to do a little disclaimer that obviously this is just a personal view on how to celebrate in bulk. Not every Wiccan celebrates the holidays exactly the same and that is totally totally fine. I can obviously only share with you my personal experience and what I've been learning about in bulk over the last couple of years. Lots of Wiccans treat the spirituality differently and that's totally cool. And also if my voice sounds really muffly I am really ill at the minute so Sorry about my voice and the nose. So with that being said, I really, really hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope that if you're just starting out being a Wiccan and get into the holidays and get into the faith, that this helps you a little bit and it kind of gives you an idea on what in bulk is and a couple of ways that you could possibly celebrate it. And there's tons and tons of tons of things to say so I'm just going to get started with the video. So when is in bulk? In bulk can actually be celebrated on the 1st or the 2nd of February which as you guys know is coming up very very soon. I think it's perfectly acceptable to celebrate in bulk on the 1st or the 2nd of February or even both if you have the time for it. I personally try to celebrate in bulk on the 1st of February just because as soon as January ends I kind of want to celebrate a little bit and just get over the whole sleepiness of January but saying that if I have either of these days free or I'm not working on one of these days I will pick that day to celebrate in bulk and as you guys probably know in my Yule video I did discuss whether you celebrate it on a different date if you're in the southern hemisphere as opposed to the northern hemisphere and yes as far as I'm aware you do Just because these celebrations tend to be accurate to the kind of seasonal differences as far as I'm aware you celebrate in bulk on August the 1st so on February the 1st or the 2nd you're not actually supposed to celebrate in bulk you're you're supposed to celebrate Lammas. But again, I honestly think this depends on the Wiccan. I know a lot of Wiccans like to kind of stick to the dates that kind of apply to the Northern Hemisphere. But again, I think it just depends on what feels right to you. I'm not a Wiccan in the Southern Hemisphere. So if I have got this wrong, apologies. So what actually is in bulk and why do us Wiccans even celebrate it? So in bulk is a celebration in preparation for spring. Traditionally, it's actually the beginning of a lambing season in some places. It's kind of the beckoning of the beginning of the spring and also in preparation for and celebration for the new life coming. So by now, the days are beginning to get longer and there is new hope coming. And of course, Wiccans celebrate the Sabbath for all these reasons too. It's a good time to pick yourself up from January and just recall that there is light coming. January can tend to be a very very depressing time for a lot of people where you don't tend to get much done and is a great time for Wiccans to have sparks of creativity especially on this day and kind of new inspiration for their spells and also for their personal hobbies. As hard as it may be it is definitely time to let go of the past and focus on the future and the renewal of things that is coming. And a very important part of it is making room for the new by getting rid of any unwanted old energies, items, situations, pretty much anything that you need to clear out to kind of get your mind in order. And I know that is definitely something that I need to do this in bulk. In bulk was traditionally celebrated to honor the goddess of fire. 
the sun and the hearth, Bridget, which obviously where the name of Bridget's Day comes from. She brought fertility to the animals and the lands and the people and also growth as the earth begins to warm up. She also helps connect people and animals to earth and nature and the land and also all the creatures living in it. And for all of you that are wondering, I will be doing a video on gods and goddesses soon and kind of how we can see them to make that a little bit more clearly for you. So I'm going to be making an in-depth video about this very soon. So how do Wiccans and how do I personally celebrate Imbolc? So firstly, like I said, Imbolc is a great time to get rid of any unwanted past. So firstly, obviously cleaning out any unwanted items from your room, objects, clothing, or even any unwanted situations or friendships or relationships that you may not be completely happy with. I know it doesn't really sound like a celebration as such, but doing these things can clear your mind so much and make you feel at ease and kind of feel like you can move forward. We need to start making room for new beginnings. Doing this can be a very, very positive and a happy thing. And what obviously, once again, there's loads and loads of crystals, incense, activity, spells, herbs, and flowers and symbols that are relevant to in bulk. For this day in particular, I have a tradition of buying crystals either on the day if I can, or like a couple of days before. Great crystals for this time of the year are crystals like amethyst, or bloodstone, or ruby, or garnet, or turquoise. Amethyst stones are amazing for kind of helping you cure yourself from the past. They kind of help you relax and clear your mind and move on with stuff. And that also applies for the bloodstones and the rubies and the garnets and the turquoise. Meditation with these guys and carrying these guys around with you at this time is something that I would definitely recommend. I personally am carrying around an amethyst and a bloodstone. Bloodstone, I did also mention in my Yule video, as well as it being great for Yule, it is also amazing for in bulk too. This stone has so many amazing properties but the main ones are organization and just in general helping you with any confusion that you may have. I recently bought another amethyst and another bloodstone just because when I went into the angel crystal shop I was extremely drawn to them. I definitely feel like this is the time if you feel like your altar needs changing around to do that and sort it out if you think it needs replacing, you kind of felt like you had been able to around the January time or around the new year time. Snowdrops bracket the flower bracket are a big symbol of imbolc. <laughs> Since they're kind of like the first sign of spring placing snowdrops in your altar are definitely definitely a really amazing thing to do. Also willow tree leaves and blackberries and honeysuckle berries can be tied up and hung in your altar or placed in your altar as well as white and green candles. White candles always kind of recommend the white kind of snowy winter that you may have had and the green represents the future and the land and what it will be soon. But never ever let these candles burn down completely and never leave them unattended, obviously. Also burning incenses such as bay, basil, vanilla are definitely recommended around these times too. We're kind of getting more into fresher scents since we are preparing for spring. Also burning sage around this time can help cleanse any bad energy. So putting some of that in your cauldron and burning it can be extremely helpful. And as spells and activities that you can do on these specific days. You can do a simple house blessing spell which involves calling upon spirits or energies in your home and asking the good and the positive energies to stay and the bad and the negative energies to go. This is an extremely helpful ritual that I have performed over the last three in bulks, I think. And obviously you guys may have heard of something called the Bridges Cross, which is basically a cross that you create made out of straw or some people choose to use grass. Basically any material that is easy to bend. Some people actually use paper and make a Bridges Cross out of paper and then write hopes and wishes that they have on the bits of paper on every single little fold. I did this last year made out of old straw. I found it a very, very interesting activity and spell and I will definitely be continuing doing that tradition this year. You can also make a Bridges doll or an in bulk poppet. Usually that is again made from straw or grass in the ground or some you can out of material. And that kind of represents the winter changing since they are obviously bits of nature that are from the winter, which are changing into spring and very, very effective using them for in bulk rituals. Some things that us Wiccans or witches can do on this day is things like in bulk tarot layouts. There are lots and lots of tarot layouts that kind of help you get out if you feel like you're in a frozen patch in your life or you feel like you need insight and what needs to be cleared. But one of the things that I found the best to do on every single in bulk that I have celebrated, I have gone out to my garden and planted seeds. And if you don't have a garden, you can go somewhere appropriate where you feel like you can plant seeds. Planting the seeds of herbs or flowers is just magical in itself. I go to my garden and with every single seed that I plant, I have a new hope or a new wish for the year to come. And especially once these plants have grown towards the summer times, using these herbs and stuff like that for different spells makes your spells a 
swear like 10 times more effective because they kind of come from you and you you went out and plant them i feel like they work alongside you very very well and of course this is an awesome time of the year if you haven't done already to create a new wand if you guys feel like you need to create a new wand for some reason then i definitely would recommend doing it around this time i'm personally not going to do this this year just because i feel a very very strong bond with my wand currently and i don't really want to get rid of that because i feel very connected to it but of course you can if you feel like you need to and of course there are specific foods that you can eat around this time, which we've all been waiting for. Let's face it, we've all been waiting for that. You can bake breads or seeded cakes or seeded breads, which are the most common things to bake around in bollocks since they represent new life. And like I said, we are preparing for the spring and the new life that comes with the spring. You can put hope charms and basic Bridget's Day charms on these. And then on the day, you can serve them to the people you love or the people you'd like to give some new hope and happiness to. So of course, there's so many things that you can bake and put Put charms on but this year i'm going to try some honey bars that i'm going to obviously make with gon syrup instead of honey also obviously eating a lot of seeds is very good around this time other good things to drink and eat around this time are things like herbal teas especially ginger ginger is one of the main symboled herbs of in bulk breads scones seed cakes carbs basically everything you want to hear also dairy is actually one of the things that is recommended to eat around in bulk but obviously you can get replacements like almond milks and soy milks and there's tons of soya cheese that are so delicious as well that you can eat around this time once again it is appropriate to have a meal on the sabbath it's basically appropriate to have a meal on any days of the sabbath so i will probably go out with my friend marina on the first or the second for just a dinner or something like that and my family obviously don't celebrate this holiday but i might do something nice at home with them as well but for me personally i will be celebrating this holiday peacefully yet very motivated. I'm going out and I'm going to plant some seeds in my garden. I'm also going to make a Bridges Cross again and I'm definitely going to create an Imbolt Poppet this year. I've done the Bridley doll before but I haven't actually done the Imbolt Poppet yet and that sounds really, really cute so I'm gonna do that this year. I have a lot of rituals planned for my altar and I'm also going to decorate my altar a couple of days prior to Bridget's Day so it's all kind of ready. I'm getting into the spirit of Bridget's Day. I'm also going to give my room a massive sort out and cleanse my room as well and my house as well. And of course I'm going to go for a walk like I always seem to do on the Sabbath because I love like the first signs of spring as well. I'm definitely going to bake these golden syrup bars prior to. You can spend these days by yourself if you'd like to sort things out personally and maybe spend the evening with your coven or your family members and stuff like that. But I will probably be, like I said, spending it with my the evening with my friend Marina. There's so, so, so many activities that I could mention that you could partake in this day but this is just a few that I personally tend to do. And these are the main ones that I'm going to try this year. It is an extremely positive time of the year. Despite letting go of a lot of the unneeded past, it is a very positive thing. I definitely enjoy doing this and this is one of my favorite Sabbaths because it just makes me feel very, very refreshed. But overall, just enjoy it. It's great. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it did help you a lot. And making this video has definitely made me feel a little bit more positive about the year to come because it hasn't been the easiest over the last couple of weeks. And I hope you have an amazing in bulk candle mass at Bridget's Day, no matter how you spend it. Thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. In bulk. <laughs>